hey guys welcome back to my channel my name is Carrie, aka lashes journey and today we are transplanting out some parsley and also some celery and guys did you know that parsley is rich in vitamin c potassium and iron so i like to have parsley and and i uh, i just love parsley because it's a lot of health benefits also it is a lot of zinc so what i normally do or what i do is go ahead and dig a hole if you guys see i plant stuff just randomly in my backyard all over i have raised bed also but i like to just dig holes in the ground and just add my compost or my soil to it because i'm in florida where it's a lot of sun it's very sandy so i dig the hole and just add the cow manure or whatever i'm using I just add the soil to it and put it around it and quick and easy that's how we transplant out stuff and just gather the, the herbs the soil around it but parsley is uh, has a lot of medicinal benefits and guys I'm not giving no medical advice no no advice you guys do your own research on these herbs so these are some of the stuff that I have in my garden and I eat from daily. Uh, it is a blood builder. Parsley is a blood builder. It also is a blood cleanser. It uh, It's good for low blood pressure. It's good for, uh, it's a breath freshener. So it's good for bad breath. Also bruises, cancer prevention it's good with uh, cancer prevention it's good for cold i have a cup of parsley on the stove right now that i'm about to drink because as you know you can hear so also over here i am showing you guys my florida peach it is loaded with blossom or blooms <laughs> so i'm gonna keep it in the pot because i notice a lot of stuff that i put in the ground even though i'm in zone nine it's still the cold still hit so this one I'm keeping in a pot and I was watching a video where they take off as soon as it start fruiting you take off the fruits some of them because it will break the limb and it was $78 at the big box store it's a Florida peach so when it's loaded but these are some of the stuff that i have in my backyard that also is a house for my blueberries because the birds are eating them up so i built a house for the blueberries and i'm just gonna go through and show you guys what i'm planting it's february 6th or february 7th so these are some of the stuff that we have in the garden i know a lot of us garden are so excited because spring's coming and you know we can get all our foods and fruits and all the good stuff out these are celery i just transplant out these celery and i put them pretty close so transplant it out water it and let it grow this year it's my first time planting celery last year i didn't plant no celery so let's see i will give you guys an update on the celery so you guys see the progress the cabbage uh they're folding in nicely they're doing so good in the cold all these brassicas beautiful foliage and the thing that i like planting in the cold time it's less pests i know this i don't have a problem with with pests i don't have no problem with the bugs so that's good no white fly or worm eating up nothing it's it's just a blessing and that's a pile of compost over here i have a lot of broccoli and collard kale asparagus a lot of asparagus i plant these asparagus approximately a year or two ago and they just they just keep going so if you guys have uh, asparagus just leave it in the ground it, it just keep coming 
and broccoli we uh, this year i'm gonna plant a lot of broccoli i try to have food all year round so what i do i have seeds going in my house i have seeds in the ground and i try to plant all over the yard so make sure you know so at all time there will be food and hand so if you guys are wondering i know one of my friends she asked me how to start a garden and i tell her I'm, i was not a gardener i started doing this approximately three three years ago and i just start watching videos and just start putting stuff in the ground buy the soil i buy the soil from the big box store home depot or walmart and just start putting stuff in pots and pans and around the yard just stick stuff in if you live in an apartment i notice a lot of people live in apartment and they're still growing a lot of food so even if you live in an apartment you still can grow your own food and these are all green onions broccoli so i planted a lot of not green onions a lot of yellow onions red onion white onions and a lot of asparagus uh, throughout the beds I did start my pepper seeds yesterday. Uh, I'm about to drop some watermelon seeds. And so come spring, the backyard should be looking beautiful with these. And as always, guys, thanks for watching. God bless and see you on the next video.